Hey YouTube, and welcome back to Vancouver's Worst Drivers. Today I want to do a special episode and showcase all of my favorite clips of 2018. Now, I started this channel a few months ago and I've just had a ton of fun with it. And I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support so far. And I'm really excited for 2019. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, share it with your friend and family. Again, I appreciate all the love and support and I hope you guys have an awesome holiday season. Also, if you're looking to get yourself or somebody you know a dash cam for Christmas this year, click on the link in the description below for Black Box My Car and use promo code Vancouver's Worst Drivers to receive $20 off any order over $250. So this clip was in my first video I did back in July. A lot of you travel to and from Metrotown, so you guys would know what this area is like. But look at this guy. He turns right from the middle lane in this mall. Just insane. He basically ignored all the signs and turned right from this lane that I was in. I just, it boggles my mind that people pull stunts like this. I never really understood why people thought stop signs in parking lots are optional. They're there to protect people so that stuff like this doesn't happen where you almost get T-boned. But then again, people also think stop signs are optional on public streets as well. Like this guy, I mean, I'm going straight. I don't have a stop sign. And he decides to turn left right in front of me. And the, the thing about this video is that he gets mad at me when I honk at him as if I've done something wrong. I'm just not really sure why. This is one of my favorite clips here in Metro Town. This guy's backing up. And I figure, oh man, he screwed up somehow because you should not be backing up in this spot. And yeah, I was right. Turns out he ignored the stay right of the pole, the arrows on the ground, and the do not enter sign. And then went the wrong way out of this parking lot. I mean, obviously it was super dangerous, but it gave me a pretty good laugh. Here's a clip from somebody from Richmond, and I love this video. I mean, it just showcases the chaos that is Richmond. So you can see in the left corner, the white SUV all of a sudden accelerates and then just blasts right through the bush, flying through the air. And my favorite is this guy because he's just standing there with his hands in his pockets, like almost unfazed by this whole thing. I've always thought Lynn Valley drivers suck in North Van, and this video showcases this. This guy could pull forward into the lane beside him, but instead decides to block traffic for no reason. And then talk about blocking traffic. This clip was filmed at 7.30 a.m. on a summer day. So there's no school that day at all. And this guy's going below 30, and I'm like honking. I'm just like, go, man, go, you got this. And he just decides to stop. He's tired of me honking at him. And so I pull up on the curb around him to speak to this fine gentleman about his pathetic driving skills. And he's yelling at me in Cantonese or Mandarin. I'm white. There is no way I look like I speak Cantonese or Mandarin. So I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. This clip really got my heart rate up. So these two cars are both driving over their line. They're actually in my lane. And this white car does decides to really go in my lane almost hits me head on. It's like a war zone out there. You gotta be careful when you're driving in Vancouver. So this clip was sent to me by Nina in New West. And take a look, this truck goes into the oncoming lane over a double yellow, tries to get back in, realizes he's screwed, then decides that driving on the sidewalk is a good idea. So he just decides, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own lane on the sidewalk. And then boom, slams head on into the pole on the side of a street. I'm just, I was so confused when I saw this video. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Don't you hate it when people assume you're gonna turn right, but you're really going straight? Like right here, this guy almost gets in a head on accident with me. I mean, get your shit together, bro. This is the very first clip in my very first video. Take a look of a gray SUV. He or she is in the left turn lane and then changes her mind and decides to go straight. And the white car's going straight. They end up clipping each other. And that's what happens when two vehicles try and take up the same spot at the exact same time. So this van, two cars ahead of me, decides that doing a U-turn in an intersection is a good idea, while another gray SUV is turning right. Just the worst possible time. This is by far my favorite clip of 2018. This clip was taken by Shane. This guy is traveling going the wrong way around a corner. Nothing screams like, I suck at driving like pulling a move like that. And then worst pedestrian of a year goes to this guy. He is jaywalking and doesn't notice a green light, almost gets hit by this BMW and then throws his hands in the, up in the air as if like, oh man, what's your problem? Dude, you gotta watch out, man. It's dangerous out there. 
I love this clip because this lady doesn't even notice that there's a sidewalk here and drives her car onto the curb. And I think she's stuck because it seems like she's like, can't even move. And I just was laughing to myself. I mean, <laughs> I just love moments like this. Again, guys, thank you so much for support this last year. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe buttons for more videos coming up. Also, if you got any clips, make sure you email them to me. My email address is in the description below. Also, again, if you want to get a dash cam this year, check out the link in the description below and enter Vancouver's Worst Drivers as promo code and receive 20 bucks off. Again, thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas.